We're joined here by head coach Giovanni Savarez. Gio, thank you for the time. Uh, just to start us off, your opening thoughts on today's match. Yeah, I mean, heartbroken. <laughs> How can I say anything else? Uh, because we played very well. We played very well. We, the first half, uh, we took it to a team that is the best in the league. So in the way we play, how we move the ball, how disciplined we were. Uh, yes, they did have two opportunities the first half, but we dominated completely the first half. Uh, second half, uh, it was a little bit more open down, open down, more open uh, in some moments uh, that we wanted. But uh, the reality is that we created uh, you know, good opportunities to be able to win this game. Uh, and then at the end, is uh, I feel that this uh, game summarizes in two moments. Uh, Vela goal that uh, I think was preventable. We know that that's the aim of uh, Vela coming inside and shooting to the opposite uh, post. Uh, and he was able to score, which is on us. And then the last one, I mean, uh, hurts because uh, I think uh, we're doing very, very well. At some moment, we lost a little bit of control towards the end. I think right at the moment that they um, that they questioned the PK uh, that was not given for them, I think that they got a little bit of uh, energy back. And I mean, you know, they put some players on the field at the end that uh, are not easy to be able to defend. But we did a great job anyway. So it hurts because I think that the, the worst case should have been <laughs> even a tie. That's it. Uh, that's what I think. That should have been the worst case scenario of what we did on the field. But the soccer is not that way. The soccer is you get not what you work for, but what you what you do. And at the end, we lost the game to one. That's it. Thank you. We'll open up to questions. Anyone? Hi, Gio. Um, obviously, a, a difficult result, and, and you guys are going to need to bounce back emotionally from it. Um, for your next game, a, a win or draw at, at Real Salt Lake is required to make the playoffs. Um, how does the team bounce back from this and, and try and get those necessary results? Um, I will tell you right away we'll bounce great. I hope. I believe so. I know the group and the group is, f if the group is in, in, uh, in the right mindset, uh, we're going to get up and, and fight again. That's what everybody knows about us, that we're just a team that never gives up. Uh, at least the coach is never going to give up. And uh, uh, what I can tell you is that uh, I'm going to do my best to make sure that the team is as ready as we can be for next week, which is going to be another tough one. A tie today put a, would have put us in a much better situation, but uh, it's never easy. <laughs> so we have to go there in Salt Lake, uh, not look at the record in the past because it's been very positive to us. But you know, know that this is a completely different game. So we need to make sure that we get a good result. And we have to put a good fight in. But I thought the guys today played very well. I was very proud of them. And were you happy with the, the changes that you made to the lineup, uh, particularly you know, Juan Mosquera and other, other new faces in a lineup that hadn't changed much recently? Yeah, I mean, uh, I thought the first half uh, we did really well. So the, the starting team, uh, the group that started, that I have no doubt that we did the right thing. So a hundred percent, I I believe that looking at what we what we did, the way we play, the way we found the spaces, how disciplined we were, that's the team that needed to start. Um, and then I think we had a good plan in place, and it worked uh, at some point. And then at some point, uh, it went the other way. Uh, so it, that's soccer. I mean, you're always gonna look at things that upon the result, and then upon the result, then you say, okay, c we could have done this, we could have done that. If we would have won at the end, then uh, I'm brilliant. So that's the way soccer is. Thank you, any other question? Hey Gio, um, uh, Bravo gets the assist for Dyrone's goal. Um, Mascara plays really well, I think, throughout the whole match. Um, just wanted to get your thoughts on how the service from wide was and if that was a focus going into the game today definitely i mean uh, one of the things that we wanted most more than anything else was uh to utilize our width uh i think at some point in the first half towards the end we didn't move the ball as much as we wanted to those areas in order to create more crosses and more you know di difficult situations for them to manage uh, but then the second half, we, we start doing it that again very well. And, and uh, I thought that every time that we put some crosses in, 
we were very, very dangerous. And as long as we manage their counters, which is something that we knew was going to be difficult, their quick transition to attack because of the type of players that they have, then we were going to be fine uh, in this game, which I thought we were. Um, so overall, I, I thought that the guys played really well. And I agree with you. Bravo and Mosquera had a, a very good game. Hi, Gio. Uh, lots of ups and lots of downs this season for you guys. How does it feel just knowing that this season is literally going to come down to the final game? Uh, I mean, first of all, is is the reality. So now we have to face it and we have to, you know, uh, prepare for it. Uh, yes, yeah, sometimes emotionally it's a little bit more up and down. Uh, but if you look at, you know, this last part of the season, I think, uh, if I'm not, you know, wrong, 17 games, I think 40 feet only. So we've been very strong. And if we were to tie today or one, you know, what a, what a good second half of the season. But we couldn't make things a little easier. Uh, and maybe get, you know, when you go back into the, the and, and analyze all the games you start looking into and maybe uh, there were some moments you know little things that if we would have been able to achieve we would have been in a much better situation and conceding uh, at the time that we conceded that moment it hurts so but the only way is to bounce back be ready and and now put a good fight Sam? Hi, Coach. Um, would love to hear just kind of your thoughts around uh, some of the substitutions you made in the second half, why you made them at the time that they did, what were you hoping to achieve by bringing on those players, and how you'd hope to kind of uh, shift the attack at the end there? Yeah, so we, we thought that uh, the group that we put at the beginning would put a good work uh, to make sure that, uh, that we can get uh, the opposite team in a difficult situation. One thing that we know is that uh, LAFC in second halves, they're, they're very good. They, they, this, you know, is uh, when they're more productive. Uh, also, they have some players that come from the bench that are dangerous, um, and uh, we wanted to make sure that we have, you know, an even team that can endure uh, through what we're going to, what we had to face in the second half. So I thought that the plan was perfect. I thought that uh, Jimmy came in very, very well. Uh, I thought uh, Eric, you know, more being fresh uh, at the time that he came in, he could cover more space and be able to create more things. I thought uh, that the guys that started the game, you know, Paredes, Chara, they played very, very well. They, all the guys, Mosquera, Bravo, everyone. And then towards the end, we, we had just uh, a thought in, in our minds, should we go four in the back or should we stay with the five? Should we throw another player a little bit higher? Uh, should we go with Moreno on the right side and, and put seven on top and maybe another player? Uh, but knowing their speed, uh, you know, play with those guys that came into the second half and how well we did during the match, managing all those runs and everything that they throw at us with those five or three in moments, uh, I thought that, you know, we look very solid and good. So that's why we didn't go until the end to four in the back. Um, and that's uh, unfortunate that we just considered that goal. And then just a, a quick follow-up. Uh, creating consistent chances from open play uh, continues to be a challenge for this team. Um, what uh, needs to change, if anything, to kind of help to create more clear opportunities from open play, or uh, is there something that the team needs to execute uh, a little better on to be able to do so? Just finish, uh, because we've been creating opportunities. I think uh, we we can look at also from the from the side of uh, we have score every game. Uh, we haven't uh, not score from a long time, so uh, goals can come from anywhere, any kind. And I'm happy about them. Uh, but yes, we continue to always uh, be better, you know, in, in finishing opportunities, in being better in set pieces, in, in just trying to score more goals and get more players into the attack to be more dangerous. Okay, thank you, guys. Thank you.